So this table below shows the relationship between the amount of money in Sarah's savings account and the number of months she's been saving money. Is this an example of proportional reasoning? Justify your thinking. So there's a few things that we're looking for with a proportional relationship. Does zero, zero make sense in the relationship? Okay. Is there a constant rate of growth or decay? Okay. And is there a constant unit rate? Those three things have to be true. So does zero, zero make sense? In zero months, would there be zero um, dollars in her savings account? I don't know. Can't tell. Okay. So it's not a data point here. So we're not sure about that. Is there a constant rate of growth? Is there a constant unit rate? I can check this constant unit rate very quickly. So in two months, okay, she has $63. So if we divide 63 dollars by two months, we're going to get $31.50 per month. Okay. If we take 112.5 and divide that by 5, we get 22.50. Right off the bat, I see I have a different unit rate. Okay. Amount of money per month. Amount of money per month. These are not consistent, so this is not proportional. Because there is not a consistent unit rate. Okay, that would be a good answer for this question in determining if a relationship is proportional or not.